Well, I think each individual work is named Opus 1 to, I think, 14 in the whole series. But the overall collective title for the series is Hyperboreans. Um, and that was a term I found uh, which referred to a classical, a mythical classical race um, who lived, I think it literally means beyond the north wind. So although it was a word rooted in classical traditions, I felt it somehow had a sort of application to Scotland. And this work resulted in a, the aftermath of living in Athens for three months. And I got a lot of research done there, in particular a book by a guy called Martin Bernal called Black Athena, about the, um, the true nature of what we consider the root of Western civilization. Um, so that began this investigation um, of trying to open up the idea of classicism to sort of a wider, more global uh, phenomena. I've always been interested in the head. I think every figurative artist tends to be quite um, drawn to the head because it's the kind of concentrated emotional, uh, most of our information, although we take information from the way we stand or the way we use our bodies, the, the, the head or the face has got the kind of most concentrated amount of information in it. If you think of classicism as an idealized form, one of the things I did to destabilize that was actually to use real sitters in each of these portraits. So um, there is, a, let's say, a, a trace of a real person in each one, although they would only come in for like maybe the first day or two when I was working on it, and then they would go. And then I would continue to work just me in the clay, so it became a sculpture again, if you know what I mean. So the, the process was to cut work the heads in clay first, and then I would make a plaster waste mould around the clay, which is just a simple two-piece mould. And then I would cast them in concrete. Um, and once they were out of the mould, I would uh, you know, work on them a little bit and use paint, and uh, eventually I would inlay wax as the eyes. And again, the concrete's quite, a, again, an important decision for, like, for all sculptors, the material they work with can add or elaborate on the meaning of our work. And I think, if we think of the classical tradition, we tend to think of uh, marble or bronze or very high-end fine art materials. Uh, and picking poor materials like concrete and wax was very a deliberate decision to try and um, make something more quotidian, something more everyday, something more unfussy. The wax, again, was this idea of a sort of something soft or something malleable so that, that it would sort of soften the general feelings. So they gave it a little bit more humanity.